what I'm going to do is I'll probably put a thicker saw blade in. I'll cut through it. I'll cut through the join and then it will fold up. It'll go, it'll be a nice tight join and it'll be a little bit closer to being straight. I'm probably going to have to cut through it two times and then it should sit nice and straight at the correct length. Obviously you don't want to go too short because then it'll close it up too much and then it's not a, a nice sort of straight right angled piece anymore. carefully hook it in. I may as well use this saw blade. Okay. Okay, let's uh, bring it down a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. Get it lined up as best you can. Still a little bit long, so he's pushing out a little bit. Okay. I think cutting it through completely closed might be a bit too much, so I've opened it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna cut through it again once more. Hopefully that should finish it. Whoop. Try to keep sawing through. Don't stop and start halfway through a saw because uh, I can muck it up a bit. So I'm looking for that nice right angle. There you go. I think that's not too bad. Okay, so I've soldered up my collet, that little corner, and the join. Um, just going around it, using my parallel pliers, hold it like dead straight, and just give it a gentle squeeze. And I recommend squeezing it one way, turning it around and squeezing the other way, because your fingers are pulling that into your palm, yeah? So there's only really one moving to the other one. So it can make a difference on how a piece actually squashes. So I like to keep, just just in case, I like to keep everything very even. So I do I do both sides. So I go around it, just look around it. If any, any little things need straightening, just do it. Like, I just literally just get the walls and just squeeze it gently, just to get it all nice and, nice and flat and square. <laughs> 